In this video, I will talk about how to do calculations for finding or for writing a delay program in 8051 microcontroller. For calculating the delay provided by 8051 microcontroller chip, first we need to go through some basics of the 8051, how it executes the instructions. So, mainly CPU executes an instruction take a certain number of clock cycles and these clock cycles are termed as machine cycles. Second the machine cycle depends on the frequency of the crystal oscillator connected to the 8051. Now here comes the main important thing for 8051 microcontroller. The original 8051 microcontroller one machine cycle lasts 12 oscillator period. That means if we have been given by a certain machine cycle of the or certain crystal oscillator uh, connected to the microcontroller then for uh, finding out the machine cycle or the clock frequency we have first we have to divide that oscillator frequency by 12 so we will get this much amount of frequency and as you know the time delay is uh, the opposite of 1 by f so we will get this much of time delay now the second thing simply each uh, instruction takes certain number of machine cycle like move command if we are typing any move command so move command take one machine cycle and it denotes that it will execute in this amount of time similarly if i am writing dz and z instruction that takes two machine cycle that means for executing uh, dz and z instruction the microcontroller will be requiring this much amount of uh, time period. So, for providing a delay in 8051 microcontroller, what we will do, we will write a certain amount of instruction and each instruction takes certain amount of time. So, we accumulate that amount of time and uh, depending on the different number to our desired value. So, now on we will do certain calculation for uh, finding out like how much time delay we will get. Okay. So, these are the approximate uh, approximate solutions or approximate uh, time delay calculation and this mainly depends on this instruction dj and z r3 comma l. So, this dj and z instruction takes two machine cycles. Uh, it must be kept in mind. Based on this, we will do calculation. So, first we know, first we will uh, find out like how many machine cycle we will be requiring for our time delay suppose suppose we want a time delay of 500 milliseconds correct so for 500 milliseconds we already know that uh, depending on uh, for uh, connecting the 8051 microcontroller with 11.0 592 megahertz clock frequency we will divide it with by 12 so 921.16 kilohertz frequency we will achieve so the time delay for that will be 1 divided by 921.6 kilohertz so it comes out to be 1.085 microseconds that that means for 11.0592 megahertz clock frequency we will get uh, duration get machine cycle of 1.085 oh, 1 microseconds then it indicates that one machine cycle will take this much amount of time so now we will find out how many machine cycle we will be requiring for 500 milliseconds. So we will simply uh, divide this 500 milliseconds by 1.085. So these calculations are straightforward. Simply 500 milliseconds divided by 1.085 microseconds. So uh, we will. Uh, do our calculation and we will divide 500 divided by 1.085 it comes out to be 4060 and 3 times 
further zero and this comes out to be uh, 460830 460830 that means this much of machines I think we will be requiring for providing 500 millisecond amount of time delay all these calculations are based on this instruction dj and z all these are approximate solutions now we know that uh, dj and z will be requiring two machine cycle for executive one so we will divide this number 460830 by 2 for getting the exact amount exact number of times we will be requiring to run this dj and z instruction Two three zero four one five. Two three zero four one five. So this much amount of instruction we will be requiring. Two three zero four one five. Now the second thing comes into the picture. Like DJ and Z instruction used a count of register, and we already know that uh, uh, the size of uh, register in eight zero five one is of eight bit. That means it can store up to at max 255 decimal number in it. But a required number of times uh, for DJ and Z is quite larger than two, three, uh, 255. So now we will calculate like how many register we will be required to achieve this count. So for doing that we will divide 4230415 by 255 and whether check whether it comes out to be less than 255 or greater than 255 230415 divided by 255 equals to 230415 divided by 255 it comes out to be 903 or we may say 904 so it's much higher than that 255 still so we will requiring one more register to store so we will further divide this 904 by 255 and we'll get we'll check what we are getting 904 divided by it's 3.5 that means approximate 4 so simply now it's uh, 250 uh, less than 255 so it can uh, this value can be stored uh, by one of the register so simply the number of times we are dividing this uh, after dividing by 2 this number that much of register we will be requiring for generating this much amount of it. like one register will store 4 another register will store 255 and another register will store again 255. So writing a program, writing a delay subroutine is very easy. We will simply write a uh, first uh, tag of the delay uh, for calling it and then we will move our uh, this number hash 04 in one register. Then we will define uh, label 1. So here one move r1 comma hash 255 and then here two move r2 comma hash 255 so this many of register we will be required then we will uh, keep on adding loops so uh, this type of programming is an example of the nested loops in assembly language so again dj and z then ser here 3 dj and z r2 comma here 3 then dj and z r1 comma here two and then dj and z r zero comma here one and then return. So 
So this is the simplest example. Effectively, if we go through this uh, uh, this portion of the code, then we will find that this instruction is exec effectively executing this many number of times. And because this DJ and that takes two machine cycle, so effectively this instruction will take this much of machine cycle, which was the exactly our requirement for generating this 500 millisecond time. Zone. So we look at carefully this DJ and Z instruction is stands for decrement and jump if not zero. So it will decrement the content of register R2 and jump here. So first time it will run 255 times, then decrement in R1 and again here too. So R2 will be preloaded by 255. So this instruction will uh, now run uh, 255 multiplied by 255 times, then DJ and Z R0. So uh, there is a 4 in R0. So whole of this code will run again and this instruction effectively will be run by 4 times 255 times 255 times and which comes out to be exactly this number. So in the next video we will uh, write uh, uh, this code into the kill and uh, we will try to simulate the uh, same program on the kill and we will uh, check whether we are getting exactly the same amount of delay or not in the next video. So that's it for this video. Thank you.